Welcome to VDG Sports. I'm your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. This is for the peeps who want to see Major League Baseball continue to speed the game up. These are for the people who don't like the game being slow as it is. I will just go ahead and entertain that father. And the only reason I say that, because those who want the game to be sped up are the ones who don't even watch the game, are the ones who don't respect the game, are the ones who couldn't care less about the game in general. This is for you. I've been thinking. I've been thinking late, late nights about this. And I think it can work. For those who want the game sped up, assuming that you plan on watching how about this clones yeah i said it clones go ahead and make clones of the teams and have them play either before the re regular game or after the regular game and then if time is still of the essence whether or not it's going to be too too uh, early or too late play in an adjacent park a virtual park a vr virtual park or just use your imagination with these clones of the same players of the same stats of the same breed but not robots not robots robots would be too fun robots would be too amazing and amazing is my favorite word. That's why we just gotta do clones. We have to do clones and have them play in this virtual reality uh, field and have it a, a simulation as well. So it's sim, but not with robots, with actual clones who have robot minds and who can think like robots and who can be programmed like robots who aren't human at all because we couldn't get away with this if it was human. In fact, I wouldn't want to see this if it was humans. If it was humans, I would just want to watch the regular MLB baseball game, watch the regular game at whatever speed it's played at and enjoy it for what it's worth and enjoy it because it's the game of baseball. But this is for the peeps who would like to speed up the game. You can speed up the game by having clones play in this VR field, but they're programmed and they're running through a simulation. So they're running through the simulation via a program and the outcome is an algorithm. The outcome is something to be determined. I'm not going to write the program. I'm not going to write the algorithm. There are smarter people out there than me that's already in the room thinking of this. I just thought of this to help out those who want help speeding the game up. You can create your own game, own version of the same game. That's basically what I'm saying. Create your own version of the same game. You can do it for realsy in your mind's eye, or you can get with this program that I'm trying to build and we can go from there. And if you got some ideas to help it go even faster, like maybe pressing a button and then woo, it's over with, or pressing two buttons and woo, woo it's over with, or pressing three buttons and it's just a little bit faster, but not ludicrous speed, because we all know what happens with ludicrous speed. And I ain't trying to see no replay of the incident after ludicrous speed. Been there, done that, saw that. But you'd have to agree, person, people of the wanting to game or people who want the game sped up, you agree to watch a regular game I'll agree to think more and longer and harder about developing the program or reaching out to those who can develop the program so we can make this happen so we can make this happen within this decade 
within five years. In fact, you watch two games. We can just go ahead and get this popping in a less than a year. Have you watched three games? Hey, I'm thinking months. I'm thinking months. What do you think? Do you regular baseball fan, regular MLB fan of the game, do you think this will help those who want the game sped up or nah? Let us know.